Alex Jones has been ordered to liquidate his personal assets, but Infowars will live on to fight another day. But that, of course, is not if the Sandy Hook families get their way. They want to seize Alex Jones's social media accounts as well. That's right. Here is his X account where he has 2.4 million followers. And it's not just enough to take down the InfoWars studios and the InfoWars websites and to demand $1.5 billion out of this man, but ostracizing him and pushing him to the back corner of the internet is the goal here, folks. Make no mistake about this. This has nothing to do with getting justice for the Sandy Hook families, and this has everything to do with stifling free speech online moving forward. I've covered this case extensively since since it happened. Um, in this video, <clears throat> Alex Jones ordered to pay a billion dollars, setting the precedent for criminalizing the pursuit of truth. And also this video, uh, Alex Jones, the Alex Jones trial and the truth about false flag operations. Guys, if you haven't seen those, be sure to check them out. I will put a link to all of this in the description below, but just to keep up with my coverage on this case, and for the purposes of this video, we're going to cover the latest. Alex Jones's personal assets are to be sold to pay off this $1.5 billion Sandy Hook debt, but his company bankruptcy has been dismissed, guys. We're going to talk about that and so much more in this video. But really quickly, just before we do, guys, I'd ask that you check me out here at pressfortruth.ca slash donate if you appreciate my efforts to bring you this info. Uh, here you can do a one-time donation with PayPal. You can do Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. You can sign up here to the Patreon alternative for a monthly reoccurring contribution. You can also do that at Subscribestar. Five bucks a month or ten bucks a month, whatever is within your means, guys, is very great appreciated. You can also send e-transfers to dan at pressfortruth.ca or if you like to keep things old school guys you can send stuff to my P.O. box. Links for all of this are located in the description below. Thank you so much to everybody who takes two minutes today to support my work here at Press for Truth. All right guys I want to start this video just with uh, you know just just to let you know in case you're not aware because there's new viewers to this channel all the time, and uh, you might might not be familiar with my my past with Alex Jones. I've known the guy for for a long time. Um, in fact, I, I put a lot of it out in uh, in this video here, um, where <laughs> here, for example, is a, a clip of me when I first met Alex Jones. This is me in 18 years ago exposing the Bilderberg Group. Uh, he ended up. Uh, interviewing me for his film Endgame and since then we have been working together in many many ways he hired me to work on some of his documentaries I've you know interviewed him on on my show we've hung out many times we, we broke bread together many times um, the reason why I, I'm telling you this is because I want to let you know that I, I feel I, I know him a little bit better than the average person out there I mean I, I, I personally know Alex Jones, you know, which is uh, more so than, than most people can say. So because of that, a lot of people have often asked me, what's your views on the guy, Dan? You know him personally, you've worked with him for almost two decades. Is he the real deal? Is he a friend? Is he a foe? Is he controlled opposition? You know, what's your views on this? And I've, I've had to explain my position on this for like over a decade, and now... I think he is actually being vindicated in all the things that he has been saying because of the fact that he is clearly over the target here as they are trying to uh, uh, now completely silence him, which just shows uh, he, he's over the target and, and, and he's, he's being vindicated for all the things that he has been saying, guys. So let's jump into, you know, how they were trying to now dismantle him incrementally because you know I, I think for for the powers that ought not be a guy like Alex Jones has become a thorn in their side I think in the beginning the position was just to ignore this man but after he got too big and too influential um, they essentially realized they got to shut him down but you can't just you know kill him because you will you, you will martyr him 
And you can't just shut down the InfoWars studio because you will create a, a an army of info warriors that will sprout up everywhere if you do such a thing. So I think they've taken the uh, the you know plan B of of slowly but surely dismantling Alex Jones and trying to just force him into the back corner of the internet. But you know with, with a man and with a voice like he has. All he really needs <laughs> in this day and age is a cell phone in his pocket and, and, and his words, and he can continue to be a powerful thorn in the side of the powers that ought not be. But they're certainly going to work on, on, uh, on taking away his ability to do so. A federal judge on Friday ordered the liquidation of conspiracy theorist Alex Jones's personal assets, but dismissed his company's separate bankruptcy case, leaving the immediate future of his InfoWars media platform uncertain, as he owes $1.5 billion for his false claim that the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting was a hoax. And I'll remind you, they might as well have said a, a good, good bajillion dollars, like some ridiculous amount. I mean, $1.5 billion is already a ridiculous amount for an opinion for, for some comments that he made and then some things outside of his control happened. And for that, he is being completely ostracized and it's absolutely insane. The, the judge Christopher Lopez approved converting Jones's pro, uh, proposed personal bankruptcy reorganization to a liquidation. But Lopez threw out the case of his company, Austin, Texas-based Free Speech Systems, after failed attempts by Jones to reach an agreement with the Sandy Hook families on his proposals to reorganize and keep operating the company while paying them millions of dollars. In case you didn't know, he offered them, I think it was $55 million to be paid out over a period of time if he's able to continue operating so he can, you know, continue to generate the funds that he would need in order to pay them such a large sum payout. But they rejected that. They're not interested in that. What they're interested in is making that first domino fall in the, you know, future of free speech online so that nobody can, can, can continue to ask the types of questions that he's asking moving forward. As we know, these types of events are going to continue to play out, but they're, they're getting their ducks in a line today um, to, to deal with all of this. It wasn't immediately clear what will happen in the coming weeks to Free Speech Systems in Ford's parent company, which Jones built into a multi-million dollar moneymaker over the past 25 years by selling his dietary supplements and other products. But both Jones and his lawyer and the lawyers for the Sandy Hook family said they expect InfoWars to cease operating at some point because of this huge debt. And again, that is the number one goal here. It's it it's not about justice for for the families. It's about setting that future precedent for where anybody could potentially be completely shut down, not just, you know, censored. But we're talking like completely shut down. Like back when this first happened to Alex Jones, he was taken off of iTunes, Spotify, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, just you name it. It was a clearly concerted effort where the flip, the, the switch was flipped and it was like time to deal with this problem that is this thorn in the side of the global elite. Alex Jones, but I think, as I said, they realize they're going to martyr the man if they essentially kill him or his operation, and so they've moved into Plan B, which is a more incremental takedown uh, 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 of of him and every everything he owns. Um, as we see here, the bankruptcy judge on Friday ordered him to liquidate his assets, pay the families, but did hand him a win in the separate bankruptcy case over the Infor's parent company. Um, that would have been handed over to the plaintiffs, uh, the control to them. In his ruling, U.S. Bankruptcy Judge Christopher Lopez said that Sandy Hook families can pursue claims against Jones in a state court without forcing free speech systems into bankruptcy. Uh, the right call here is to dismiss the case, said Lopez, given InfoWars a lifeline. I think the remaining assets can be resolved outside of a bankruptcy uh, forum. 
Um, Owen Schroyer took to the took to the airwaves to say it looks like Infowars just got some extra time. Uh, Jones has been preparing his massive audience for a shutdown as attorneys for the family sought not only to take over Infowars but Jones's personal and social media accounts, which they argued is no different than a customer list of any other liquidating uh, business. But this account is not a customer's list. Um, this essentially is giving him the ability to continue to to voice his concerns to 2.4 million people. That's what they don't like. That's what they're trying to silence. And again, it, it's it's all about creating that first domino to fall. Incrementally, not in a way that's going to martyr him, but incrementally in a way that they'll be able to then do it to people like yours truly. B Press for Truth here will eventually be on the chopping block as well. Um, he, uh, he addressed this, guys. You can check the links for all of this in the description below. Um, the Sandy Hook family has asked the judge to make clear that the Joneses' real Alex Jones account on X um, be among the assets that are turned over to the court-appointed trustee. Um, so obviously this uh, has not happened yet. Alex Jones still has access to his account, but these families are certainly still going to try to seize control and shut him down. But as I said, they're going to try to do all of this a, a little more incrementally so as to not create like uh, a, an, an army of info warriors who will essentially eventually take up the torch. And I guess that's the big takeaway from uh, today's video is that, you know, it, it's crunch time, folks. As you can see, those of us who are over the target are now being targeted in a very big way. And we may very well be at a, a fork in the road kind of moment where it could be completely, you know, shut down, you know, our, our ability to continue to produce this type of information, or we can spread into the avenues of, 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 of freedom and, and, and liberty and, and, and justice for all. So this is a crucial moment, guys. This is a precedent setting case. I explained it all in this video back when this first broke. Alex Jones ordered to pay a billion dollars, setting the precedent for the criminalization of the pursuit of truth. Again, that should be the, the major takeaway from today's video. If you have not seen this report from back in October of 2022, make sure you check that one out, uh, as well as this one. I will put links to all of this in the description below. I just wanted to bring this to your attention, guys. They are now incrementally trying to dismantle Alex Jones um, in, a, in a controlled demolition type of fashion. Um, so as not to kind of trigger uh, martyrdom for the man um, because, you know, that's essentially what's going to happen. But uh, as I said, it's time to take up that torch. And if you're on the, on the fence wondering if it's time to get involved in this battle or not, now should be a, 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 big, a big sign that it's like, yeah, it, it's, it's time. It's crunch time. It's now or never ladies and gentlemen. So again, if you do appreciate my efforts to continuously bring you this information as I have been since 18 years ago when I started Press for Truth, uh, don't forget to check me out here, pressfortruth.ca slash donate. Again, I can't do this work without the help of you, the viewers. That's how this operation works. It, it's a relationship between me and you who are watching this right now. So uh, thank you to everybody who does take one minute today to contribute to my efforts uh, here at Press for Truth, guys. So just wanted to bring all of that to your attention while I still can and while I still have the ability to do this. And hopefully, you know, that domino isn't going to fall anytime soon, creating this th this ripple effect. We, we need to have our own ripple effect of truth here. So please share this video, get involved with the fight, and... Uh, yeah, just, just wanted to bring all of this to your attention, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please be sure you click that thumbs up button and share this video with your friends and family who you think need to see it the most. And stay tuned, guys. We're going to have more video reports coming soon, God willing. This is Dan Dix reporting for Press for Truth. We all want truth. truth. The truth will set you free. free.